Yo, dear and followers, this is for all of you. I got nothing but love for you. I wish you well on your Instagram journey. And because you clicked the button, I haven't gone into mourning. I just want to give you all a warning. The world is storming every morning. There's new lies that lie lurking. The devil's working to keep the general public shrouded in uncertainty. The media is also working to create hysteria and build up barriers between a man and his neighbor. That's why you're so quick to dismiss. And that's probably why you got your nose up in everybody's business. Telling the truth is a risky business in this modern age of political correctness. When you feel like your patience is being tested every time you hear an idea that wasn't left side sanctioned, that might be a good indication that you've been subject to the state's indoctrination. I'm not hating, I'm just saying, you can be free today, man. Look, I know you like memes more than books, but do me a favor and don't stay stuck in the media narrative. It's crumbling anyway, and it's super imperative that we all run away from anything that's trying to tear us down from day to day. Stay awake, be on your guard and pray that our nation finds a way out of all this hate. Many say that what I preach is hate speech. That gives them the right to go and say things that I would never even dream of saying. Full of slander and cursing and crude things so angry. Listening to rap music that's straight up scary. Talking about using women and murdering. But when I say a single solitary fact and slow down my voice on a wholesome track. The whole world thinks it's whack. They laugh and say things behind my back. But I still got love and forgive them, but that doesn't mean what they did is okay, man. Hate is never right, just like day is never night, and left is never right, and darkness is never light. So if you have hate, turn on the lamp of love, that's Christ, who's the spiritual light up above. He's calling to a world that's falling, into the pattern of all things that have been already, and are already always. Remember that genocide is always an ember. It can be fanned into flame within the human members. And it already is happening among our most innocent, weak, and tender. So as you consider the words that I deliver, try not to shiver because you got triggered. But add up all the figures and you'll start to see a picture of authoritarianism is being captured and factor that in the next time you choose to attack my words.